Hey, Joe here. Before I call it quits for the day, it's been a long day, a full day, and I have got three lessons, including this, that I want to share with you that I learned today or that I reemphasized today or that I pulled out of what I did today or whatever. So hope you had a good day or if your day's just beginning because you're on the other side of the world and that blows my mind, but that's awesome. Hope you're about to have a great day. So the three things I want to tell you, they start with S's. Uh, the first is schedule. Second is save, and the third is speaker, or crap speaker. We'll get to Rolando here in a second. Schedule. Today was one of those days that I actually scheduled out to a ridiculous amount of detail my day. So you, can, you can't really read it, but this from here to here, I scheduled everything I was going to do. From getting up um, to working out to uh, lunch with my buddy Andrew, which was awesome, to all the different studio stuff that I had to do. I've mastered some stuff today. I've mixed some stuff today. I've recorded some stuff today. And uh, I even sold a poker table today. <laughs> so it's been a, a busy full day, but I'm pumped because, and again, I'm not saying this to show off. It's just, it, it, I, I do this so rarely that when it actually happens, I need to document it so I can, along with you, watch this video a week from now when I'm not doing so great at <laughs> doing this and pump myself back up again. But the idea of scheduling out what I'm going to do is it, it can be called time blocking. It's so, so important because otherwise, if I give myself five things to do and I give myself all day to do them, guess what? I will take all day to do those five things. But because I schedule things out in whether it's 15 minutes to three hour blocks, I was able to get one, two, three, four, five big projects done today that uh, <laughs> I said five before that I wouldn't have gotten done otherwise uh, on top of other just normal day-to-day -day stuff. So point being, try it out. Whether this is with studio stuff or just at your work or your job or your business or your family even, try scheduling things more and sticking to the schedule and see if that makes you more intentional and helps you move the ball further down the field in less time. So that's the first thing, schedule. Second thing is save. Working on a mastering project for a client and sent off uh, the song to review and they came back and had some requests for changes, so made the changes, sent them off, and they came back and said, you know what, we like the first one better. I've talked about this before, but if you don't save that first one, and you just delete what you have and add new stuff to it, or you take your first one and then you tweak everything to do the revisions that they requested, and you don't save a copy, guess what, you're kind of screwed. So you always, always do a save as, or a save version, or copy, and however you wanna do it, make it to where you can get back to your previous version, because, it's happened to me, not all the time, but enough times to warrant telling you this. Sometimes they come back and say, never mind, I liked the first version you did. If you can't get back to the first version, you're going to want to punch yourself in the face. And I'm just trying to save you from one extra punch to the face. Third thing, speakers. These are, I've talked about these before, but I feel like I haven't done a good job of explaining why these crappy little Roland speakers, I'm not, I'm not bashing Roland. It's just everybody needs a crap speaker. This is mine. I've got this and its partner over there that has the power buttons and stuff. Their names are Rolando. And I've had these for 10, 12 years. I bought them. These were all I could afford in college. And <laughs> they've got a little, I mean, the speaker's only this big. And they're very mid-rangey. And they just, they don't sound great. And guess what? They are great for mixing on. I was doing a mix today. I was feeling really good about my mix. I flipped over to these and there were all these problems. There were a lot of mid-range frequencies that were just overwhelming this mix coming out of these speakers. And so I started messing and EQing and notching and setting levels and things like that. And guess what? By, you know, 10, 15 minutes in, I forgot I was on these speakers. I had it sounding so good on these that when I flipped back to my big boys, it sounded amazing. But guess what? If I hadn't done it on these, it wouldn't have sounded as amazing on the big ones. I hate, I hate, hate mixing on these. Hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. It is not fun, it is not enjoyable, but the results are worth it. So if you don't have crappy speakers, get you some. Now, I know there are gonna be comments and you're gonna say, Bojo, what are the best crappy speakers? Do you realize what a silly question that is? Just get some, anything. Go to Best Buy, whatever they have on clearance, grab those and just figure out a way to wire it in so you can flip over between them and listen to them regularly. Um, Apple earbuds make good crappy speakers. I always have some on me. They do the same thing. They they kind of expose a lot of the mid-range, upper mid-range stuff that's problematic in your mix that sometimes doesn't come through on your big speakers when they're reproducing all that bass. 
Okay, so those are the things I wanted to show you and share with you. If one of those helps you, then I will have done my job. And for our outro music, I will play you, a, we, I did this in the last video too, but I'll play you a little bit of a background vocal that I did today on this kid's record that I'm working on. Um, it's super cute. I just wanted to share it and that's, that's what I'm going to do. So have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.